Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly forex forecast for the 29th of May to the 2nd of June 2017. Starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of currency pairs looking at key levels of support and resistance in the process. So without further ado, let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. US dollar index. US dollar index has found support at the 12149 area of support, which we highlighted in the previous weekly forex forecast. It is an overall downtrend, as you can see. So we do favor shorts on this, uh, even though it is at a uh, support area here. It has pulled back a little bit. If it pulls back even further, it could be looking to come up and retest this broken upward sloping trend line here. However, if we start to see a turn, we're going to look for another retest of the 12.149 area. And if we get a push below here, we're going to be looking down roughly to the 12.08 area of support down here. Just keep uh, in mind that there is non-farm payrolls coming out of the US uh, next Friday as well. Next, we're going to look at is oil. Oil broke above the resistance area of 48.83. And as you can see, it broke above. And we were looking up to the top of the wedge pattern here. It didn't come to there instead on Thursday, you can see we had a very sharp sell off uh, due to the OPEC meetings and a retest of the 48.83 uh, level of resistance turn support. Friday did turn up and it closed fairly uh, strong on Friday. So what we're gonna be looking at now is a continuation back up to the top of the wedge, which we've been looking for. So we do see uh, some oil strength coming into the markets potentially next week. The only thing to bear in mind is uh, it did break out of the lower trend line here and it has pulled back. So if this were to break down below the 48.83, we're going to be looking at the 46.86 area in oil next. However, we do favor the top of the wedge on oil next week uh, or maybe even the week after, depending on how long it takes. Next pair we're going to look at is euro US dollar. Euro US dollar broke above the 1.110 area over here, the psychological level. This is what we were looking for last week. It did pull back and test it before moving higher. Uh, Angela Merkel actually said that the euro was undervalued or it was weak, uh, needed to be a bit stronger, and that's what uh, caused the push up here. Uh, so we didn't get any pullback down to this uh, downward sloping trend line. And as you can see, it started to accumulate last week. So we are now looking for longs on the euro US dollar next week into the 1.12950 area. So this is a trade that we're going to be looking to see if it materializes in the live room next week. Next pair we're going to look at is US dollar Japanese yen. US dollar Japanese yen did accumulate last week and we did say you can see this is here from last week. We were looking for a potential pullback and a retest that's now on sloping trend line here. We did get that and now as you can see we are forming a kind of bear flag pattern. So we do expect this to continue to the downside and we're going to be looking for the 110 level next week and then possibly even further down to the 109.25 area to come and close this gap over here. So we are looking for shorts next week on the US dollar yen if we start seeing uh, this pushing to the downside. Next pair we're going to look at is pound US dollar. Pound US dollar broke out of this channel to the upside, as you can see. Uh, we were looking for trades up into the 1.300 area, and then it sold off from there, and it's broken out. So we are now thinking that this could push down a little bit lower, and we're looking for the 1.2700 area of support and the psychological area here next week. We may see a little pullback first to retest this uh, broken channel before I move down. However, uh, that would mean that we'll probably have to see some US dollar strength, maybe a little correction in the US dollar strength. So if rather than pushing further down, the US dollar actually pushes up and it continues to uh, correct to the upside, then we may see this uh, push down into the 1.270 area. So we are going with a dollar bias uh, next week of being bearish. However, if we start to see a little bit of strength coming in, the pound US dollar is one we're going to be looking to take to the downside and we're going to be looking at the 1.27 psychological area. Next pair we're going to look at is US dollar franc. US dollar franc did break down out of this upsloping trend line here, and it has now found support on the 0.9722 area down here. We are looking for some more weakness in the US dollar next week, and we're going to be looking down to the 0.9644 area down here. However, we do need to see this start breaking down first because uh, it could bounce from here. If it does bounce from here and we start seeing the uh, US dollar index moving to the upside, we could be on for a pullback 
uh, and a retest of this broken upward sloping trend line here or we could be looking uh, for a test of the 9850 area over here so a little bit of a tough one to call at the moment because it is moving to the downside however similar to the us dollar index uh, it's at support so is it going to bounce from support or is it going to push lower uh, is yet to be seen we're just gonna have to see how it plays out next week next pair we're going to do is aussie us dollar Aussie US dollar is also at a similar kind of decision point here. It has broken out of this downward sloping trend line and this down channel here. It is still in a downtrend. Uh, so the question is, it has broken out and it's pulled back. Are we now going to see a bounce and a push to the upside? In which case, we're going to be looking for a the 0.755 area next. Or are we going to see this break back into the down channel? Uh, and if we do that, we're going to be looking for some accumulation. We're going to be looking down to the 0.7350 area where we had that over here before. And then beyond that, we're going to be looking down to the 0.7300 area. So another one which really needs to show its hand next week, but uh, we have a plan either way. Next pair we're going to do is US dollar CAD. US dollar CAD. We were previously looking for this move down into the 1.3600 area. Uh, and we were going to look for further highs up to the 1.38 up here. However, we did say if it starts to break down from here, we're going to be looking down to the 1.344 area down here of support. It has found a little bit of support here, uh, but we do expect this to continue lower uh, with some more US dollar weakness potentially next week and some more strength potentially in oil. So we could be seeing this heading lower, and this is one of the pairs that we're going to be looking at in the live room next week. And we are going to be looking at taking this down to the 1.3350 area down here. So this is a trade that we uh, are going to be looking at next week. New Zealand US dollar. New Zealand US dollar did break out of this downward sloping trend line here. Uh, and it has now come up to this resistance level at the 0.705 area. If we get a bounce from this resistance area, we're going to look, be looking back down to the 0.700 area and a retest of this broken trend line here. However, if we start to push higher, we are going to be looking next for the 0.71347 area of resistance up here. And if we get a push, if this continues into this area and we see some accumulation in this area here, we're going to be looking at taking longs up to the 0.713 area. So if we get the weakness in the US dollar as uh, expected potentially next week, we're going to be looking for some potential longs in the New Zealand US dollar as well. If it does break down below the 0.700 area down here, the next layer to the downside we're looking at is the 0.6950 area down here. Next pair we're going to look at is Euro Pound. Euro Pound broke out of this major downward sloping trend line here. And as you can see, it came up to the 86679, gave a little test here and then continued to push through. It did go further up to the 0.872 or 873 area roughly up here and it is now sitting here that's where it finished last week we are looking for a potential pullback uh, and a close of this gap which was made over here around the 19th so we're looking for this gap to be closed and potentially even a pullback and a retest of this broken downward sloping trend line uh, so if we do see some weakness in the euro or we see a little bit of pound strength next week which uh, it, the pound did struggle towards the end of last week because of the uh, elections, the ongoing elections in the UK. There, but if we do see uh, um, some strength in the pound, then or some weakness in the euro, we're going to be looking at this to come back and close this gap. However, we can't uh, close our eyes to the fact that this is an uptrend. So the preferred trade on this is a break through the 87.30 area up here, a push up into here, maybe a pullback to retest this resistance to become support, and then we're going to be looking at taking it up to the 0.8855 area up here. Next pair we're going to look at is Euro Japanese Yen. Euro Japanese Yen hasn't really done much since uh, the last forecast. It pretty much moved up a little bit like this all of last week. And then it sold off on Friday, as you can see. So it does look like this could be setting up to do a C wave, which is what we discussed in the previous uh, Forex forecast. Maybe down to this low here, or maybe down to retest this downward sloping trend line and the 122 area. If, however, this fails to materialize and it does start to push higher because it is in an uptrend, then we're going to be looking at the 126 psychological next. And if it, if it pushes through here, we're going to be looking up to the 127 psychological area to the upside after that. Next pair we're going to do is pound yen. Pound yen last week was sitting below the 145 psychological area here and we was, it was, had a little bit of accumulation. We did say we were looking for a move down to the 142 and in fact we did take this trade last week. 
Uh, it is now down to this area, and so the question is, is it going to push through a little bit further, or are we going to get a bit of a bounce here? If we get a push through to the downside, we are going to look for some accumulation underneath the 142 area, and then a move down to the 140 psychological area to close this gap over here. Next pair we're going to look at is Frank Yen. Frank Yen is still at the resistance of this downward sloping trend line here, and it has the 115 uh, area of resistance just above it over here. If we start to see some strength coming into the Japanese yen next week, uh, then we could see all of these push down. However, as you can see, the franc yen did actually make a new high. So if we are going to look at trading some of these to the downside, I'd probably prefer to take the euro yen uh, and see, look at it as a C wave rather than get involved in the franc yen. Franc yen is probably one we're just going to have to wait, bypass next week and see uh, how it plays out for the following week. Next pair we're going to look at is pound franc. Pound franc failed to hold at the downward sloping trend line here it pulled back and it actually accumulated underneath and as you can see it started to sell off last week we were next looking for the 1.25 psychological area down here it has now traded into this area so we're going to be looking for a little bit of accumulation and if we're going to get some more pound weakness next week pound franc is one that we're going to look at trading down to the 1.24 psychological area down here uh, and also a possible retest of this upward sloping trend line so pound franc is one we're going to be looking at taking shorts on uh, next week if we get the opportunity next pair we're going to look at is euro oz Euros has been accumulating around the 1.501 area. And as you can see, it's pretty much been moving around here for the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nearly two weeks, two trading weeks here. Now we are looking for a move up to the 1.517 area up here. So this is a trade we're going to be looking at taking possibly next week. However, slightly cautious that we may see a pullback into the 1.4857 area uh, first before we see a move up to the 1.517 area. So it's just a question of timing and how we can position ourselves into this. But as you can see, it's trending to the upside. Uh, we've got a continuation pattern here. So we are going to be favoring trades into the 1.517 area next week. This could be a good pair. Next pair we're going to look at is EuroCAD. EuroCAD is uh, in an uptrend and it's given us this uh, continuation pattern here. It's like a ball flag. Uh, so we are looking for a continuation of the move to the upside. Next target we're looking for in the EuroCAD is the 1.5268 area up here. Uh, the only thing is, obviously, oil does look like it could be a little bit strong next week. So we would have oil to have to uh, accumulate sideways or maybe turn a little bit negative uh, in order to uh, get some really nice moves up. Otherwise, it could struggle a little bit. So we do favor longs uh, on the Eurocad into the 1.5268 area of resistance next week. However, we'll have to keep an eye on oil to see uh, if it gives us the opportunity or a nice opportunity uh, appears to, to take this to the long side. Next pair we're going to look at is Aussie CAD. Aussie CAD broke out of this upward sloping trend line here and it is actually now sitting at a support area. You can see the 1.00 area roughly. If we get a bounce from here uh, and it starts moving to the upside, if we start seeing a little bit of weakness maybe coming into oil and the Canadian dollar, then we're going to be looking for this trade back inside this trend line here and we're going to be looking for this top up here or even further to the 1.0200 area of resistance up here. However, if we start seeing a break lower, which we could very well see, especially if oil does uh, provide a bit of strength next week, then we'll be looking for some accumulation into this area, and we can be looking to take a trade down to the 0.9928 area of support here. You can see it's acted as support a uh, number of times before. Uh, and then if we do get a push down below there, we'll be looking at the 0.9900 area down here. So. Ideally, we want to see a little push lower on this, and then we can look at taking Aussie CAD to the downside to the 0.9928 area of support down here. Next pair we're going to look at is Aussie Jap. Aussie Japanese yen is sitting at this major upward sloping trend line here. Last week, we were looking for a potential trade from here down to retest this uh, trend line here, and that's what happened. And now we are looking to uh, potentially get a bounce up to the 85 area over here. Now, we are expecting a little bit of Japanese yen strength next week, which would push this further down. Uh, if that's the case, we're going to be looking down to the 81 area down here. However, if we fail to see that uh, Japanese yen strength or we see some Aussie strength uh, and it starts to push higher, then the the uh, 85 area to the top is going to be the next target to the upside, followed by the downward sloping trend line here, uh, where you can see where the blue circle is. So Aussie yen, uh, one which really needs to show which way it's going to go, and then we can look at trading it uh, to either of these targets once we get a little, little more clearer sense of direction on this pair. Next pair we're going to look at is CAD yen. 
Kajian is sitting at the top of the trend line. It broke out and it pulled back and it now retested it. So again, the question is, is this going to push back through here? And if it does, we're going to be looking down to the 80 level, which we've been looking at for some time. Uh, we're still looking at it coming down to the 80 level at some point. It's just, is it going to push a little bit higher first before it comes down? Uh, or is it going to come down from where we're at now? If we start to see a little bit of strength coming in here and this starts to push to the upside, uh, we can look for the 84 psychological area and then the big downward sloping trend line here, the 85 psychological area to the upside here. If, however, we start to see this pushing lower next week, we're going to look for some accumulation outside of this upward sloping trend line in this area, maybe down by the 82 uh, level, and we're going to be looking to take this short down to the 80 level. The only thing is oil again would need to be weak next week and it is looking fairly strong at the moment. So if we do see some oil strength and we don't get that Japanese yen strength that we think uh, may come into the markets next week, then this could be a good trade to the upside looking at the 84 and then the 85 levels uh, on this pair. Next pair we're gonna look at is New Zealand yen. New Zealand Japanese yen did find support at this upper sloping trend line here. And as you can see, it actually bounced up and it's making its way back up to retest the 78.92 area over here. If we start to see a push through from here, we could see a retest of the high up here. And then if we start to see it moves even higher, we could be looking at the 80 to the upside. We have been, however, looking for a potential move down to the 7,500 area on the New Zealand Japanese yen. So the question is, is, it, is this area of resistance here gonna provide uh, a push to the downside and to uh, see if we can eventually get that target of 7,500 down here? Or is this going to push up, make higher highs, in which case we can be looking up to the 80 uh, area up here. I do think, however, uh, that being said, there's probably better pairs out there uh, to trade next week. Pound CAD sold off after finding a bit of resistance up here at this upward sloping trend line. I did say in the uh, weekly Forex forecast last week uh, that we could be looking at a potential move back down to test the uh, bottom area of this up channel here. Uh, that does look like what it's doing now. We had these two areas marked here on the charts and it has uh, traded into the first area, which is around the 7250 area. And it could be looking now to push a bit lower to the 1.714 area of support down here. Now, if it trades into this, this could be a good place to look for uh, some potential moves to the upside. We won't be looking for shorts on this as it is in an uptrend and there isn't really much room down here. So if we get a move down into the 1.7140 area here, uh, this could be a good area where we're going to be keeping our eye on it. And if we get that uh, turnaround or reversal, then we can be looking at taking some longs on this pair. But just be aware uh, with the other pound pairs as well. We do have the ongoing election in the UK, uh, so the pound pairs could be pretty volatile. So just bear that in mind. Next pair we're going to look at is pound New Zealand. Pound New Zealand uh, is trending to the upside, as you can see, and we had actually a continuation pattern here, uh, had a kind of ascending triangle forming. It was negated. We did expect a further push up to the 1.905 area up here. However, now that's been negated, uh, we were looking for maybe a retest down here of this upward sloping trend line. We are coming down into this area now. Could see a little push even lower to the 1.7928 area of support over here. Similar to the pound CAD, if we do get a move down into this area or a retest this upward sloping trend line, we could be looking for uh, a reversal in this area and we could be taking this back up uh, for more highs. However, uh, next week we may just get a bounce up to the 1.8500 area, but longer term, if it does give a, a higher push to the upside, then we're going to be looking at the areas of the 1.905 and the 1.934 up here. So we'll just have to see how this plays out next week, see if we get a reversal pattern in here or if it starts to break down lower. If it starts to break down lower, then this could be the start of um, uh, a stronger push to the downside in the pound New Zealand. Next pair we're going to look at is pound Oz. Pound Oz found resistance at the 1.766 area, which we highlighted up here. Has pulled back, given a kind of ABC pattern uh, which is in continuation pattern so we are looking for maybe this to continue higher similar to the pound cad pound new zealand i do expect it to first trade into the 1.713 area of support down here so if we get a little pullback maybe up into here maybe up to the 1.7300 area uh, could be looking at some shorts down into this area early next week um, and then we could be looking at a reversal pattern in this area to take this back to the upside uh, and eventually a retest of the 1.766 area up here same thing applies with the ongoing UK elections in pound Oz as well. Next pair we're going to look at is Aussie New Zealand. Aussie New Zealand, we were looking for a move down into the 1.0600 area of support down here, which we had highlighted, and we did actually get that move last week from here. 
as you can see all the way down it did push lower and it has started to break out of the downward sloping channel here so if we see some accumulation in this area we are going to be looking to take a trade down to the 1.047 area of support on the aussie new zealand aussie new zealand is one i'm going to be keeping my eye on very closely next week uh, and i am going to be looking for shorts into the area of 1.0479 next week on this pair let's keep your eye on the aussie new zealand see if we get those opportunities next pair we're going to look at is aussie frank Aussie Frank has broken out of this major upward sloping trend line, moving in a downtrend, as you can see. Uh, we have had some accumulation here last week, and we were looking for a trade down into 0.7200 area of support. I still see this trade on potentially coming down next week, so we will be looking for shorts somewhere in this area down to the 0.7200 on Aussie Frank if the opportunity uh, comes up. Next pair we're going to look at is Euro New Zealand. Euro New Zealand is an uptrend, as you can see. It's been trending up like so it has now started to pull back so ideally we want to look at getting involved in this to the upside however it could pull back to the 1.5700 area of support down here uh, if it does do that this may provide a nice opportunity to get back in this to the upside either way we're looking to get involved in this uh, to continue the up move the question is are we going to see a reversal pattern in this area here or are we going to see something further on down here and a pullback to the 1.570 area first so we'll just have to see how this plays out next week. But ideally, we're looking for longs on the Euro New Zealand. Next pair we're going to look at is New Zealand Franc. New Zealand Franc has pulled back to retest this downward sloping trend line here. As you can see, it goes all the way back down to here. We are now looking for potential shorts on this pair down to the 0.6700 area. So if we get a reversal pattern in this area or we start to see the trend turning on the lower time frames, because at the moment it's correcting this move here. If we start to see that kind of uh, pattern emerging in the lower time frames, we're going to look at taking a trade in the New Zealand franc down to the 0.6700 area down here. Keep an eye out for this one next week, see if uh, we get that kind of move. Next one we're going to look at is CAD franc. CAD franc has been moving down, as you can see, we've got a pullback here, got a bit of a short cover and rally back up to the resistance area. This resistance area at the 0.733 did provide uh, resistance and it pushed this back down to the uh, lower upward sloping trend line here, which is the bottom of this wedge pattern here. It has looked now like it's starting to break out, so we would favor shorts on this pair. If we do get a, a nice pattern here to the downside, we start seeing a reversal pattern of this little correction here, then we can be looking at taking this down through the psychological levels and also down possibly even as far as the 0.706 area. The only question is, as you can see, it did fail to make a new low, so there is a risk that this could be coming up to do a C wave. So if this starts to push back inside the wedge pattern and we get some accumulation in this area, first we'll be looking for the 0.73386 area of resistance up here, and then maybe even uh, a little double top over here and a retest of this, uh, the top over here, and the price at 0 0.738 at this kind of area. But because where it's sitting now, it's broken out and it's pulled back, it does look like it's correcting this down move, so we would favor some shorts on this pair. Uh, possibly next week if we get the right sort of patterns. Next pair we're going to look at is gold. Gold found support at this upper sloping trend line here and it pulled all the way back up to the resistance area of the 1260 we had highlighted here. Has now started to break through here, so we are looking for a potential retest next week, uh, especially if we get some uh, more US dollar weakness. Could be looking at a retest of the wedge top up here in gold. If US dollar does start to bounce to the upside, then we could be looking at a pullback and maybe a move down to the 1225 area. So uh, like many of these, it's kind of at a bit of a decision point, although it has started to break through this resistance now. So uh, we would favor longs on gold and retest of this major downward sloping trend line. And finally, we're going to end on silver. Silver bounced from the 16.145 area of support over here a few weeks ago. And from there, we were looking up to the 16.68 area here. It broke through there and it pulled back. And once it pulled back, uh, we said we were looking for a potential retest of this upward sloping trend line uh, and also this area of resistance at 17.506. As you can see that the uh, price is still making its way up to this area. In fact, I don't think we had the 17.506 area of resistance on here last week, but we were looking for a retest of the upward sloping trend line. But this week now, I would expect this to, similar to gold, to push up a little bit higher and test the 17.506 and also this upward sloping trend line, which was broken. Once we get a test of this, uh, if we start to see some strength coming into the US dollar index, then we can be looking at taking this to the downside, back down to the 16.688, and then even further, depending on uh, how the US dollar index is going to react.
So that is it from me for this week. I hope you found that helpful. And as always, uh, if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Don't forget to trade safely. And don't forget we have non-farm payrolls coming out of the U.S. on Friday. So apart from that, the only thing left to say is I hope you all have a great week next week. Take care and good luck.